Alright everyone, thank y'all for stopping in and checking out the brand new series starting today. Uh, this is the very first episode and we'll be discussing the book 103 Amazing Facts About the Black Indian of the Western Hemisphere. It was originally written by Wastanchinaw P. Canyon, a non-reservationist in the year 2003. And it has been updated, illustrated, and demonstrated by me, King Wolves, in 2020, the year of the Grand Awakening. All right, y'all, so let's go ahead and get this started. Number one, black Indians have lived in the Western Hemisphere since time immemorial. Below that is a picture of a Ica stone from Ica, Peru, and it has been estimated at the age of 250 million years old. Now, I understand that sounds a little crazy to some of y'all, but let me break down how this actually all happened. So back in 1966 in Ica, Peru, a professor, Javier Cabrera Darquia, was gifted a stone that had an inscription of an extinct species of fish on it. And um, he really, you know, raved about it. And as time went on, they started bringing him more stones. More of the locals kept bringing him stones. And the more he went over these stones, the more he started to understand that a lot of these depictions were of ancient, ancient times and things and animals and all of that. And so um, he took and he took a few of them and had them tested. They were actually tested at two different facilities. One was tested in Peru and another was tested in Germany. And both of the tests came back conclusive that the stones were around the age of 250 million years old. So, of course, when the news about the stones came out to mainstream media and to the public at the at wide, you know, um, you know, they started trying to find ways to disprove it. They started trying to um, look for any kind of way to say that it was fake. All right, and so. I guess the, the government in, in Peru started going after the man who originally started giving them to him and selling them to him because they said, well, if these are ancient artifacts and you're out here selling them, that's against the law. So that particular guy went back and said, no, no, I made them. And, you know, it was all a hoax and it was just a joke and all of that. But then every time he was interviewed, he said, no, I had to say that to keep from being arrested. And, you know, that went back and forth a few times. And over the years, even a few, they got a few uh, people in the local area to try to also claim that they was making them and that they were nothing but, you know, things that they like to sell tourists. But the fact of the matter is they were both tested at laboratories and they both came back with the age of 250 million years old. Not only that, the real stones were made with andesite. They were made from andesite, which is an extremely hard stone. It's not something that a normal person or people can do anything with, let alone draw all of these artistic inscriptions, okay? And the real proof of what they are and how old they are is what's actually on them. Because on these stones... They have depictions of extinct species of animals, like that fish. They had dinosaurs. They had men riding dinosaurs, men fighting dinosaurs. They had depictions of the continents in a much closer stage. They were, uh, 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 you know, a picture of continental drift. They had pictures of surgeries that even today doctors have a hard time doing. Now, all of these things inscripted on these stones only goes to show you it's impossible that a normal ordinary person a could do it on an andesite rock and b could draw these things they didn't even know about them to draw them so the fact of the matter is no matter how much they want to try to say that it's fake it can't be these are ancient the truth is a we have been around for a very very long time Okay, a lot longer than they ever want to admit, but we have evidence all throughout the Americas to show you 
and these eco stones are a very big one. That's a big one. 250 million years. Nobody could fake these things, okay? They didn't even know about these type of things to fake them, all right? Especially when you talk about stuff like continental drifts, the continents being together. They didn't, do you think simple village people knew anything about that? And, and how did they inscribe these things on andersite? One of the hardest rocks there is to actually do anything with, okay? No, that's fraud. And they know it. And we have a million other artifacts all across the continent to prove it, okay? And it just so happens that uh, Ica stones are found not far away from other, many, many other mysterious sites and other art workings that they can't explain still and they keep trying to make up you know dates and times and who did it and they don't know it didn't have anything to do with them they don't understand it it's not them but one thing is for sure the proof is all over the stones like this one it's just like the Nazca lines in Nazca Peru which isn't very far if y'all don't know about the Nazca lines they look like this these were Nazca lines, and you can only see these lines when you're in the sky. Only after airplane trips over that part of Peru were they even discovered. Okay? So, no. Canyon was right. The black Indian has been here for time immemorial. All right? So, hey, make sure you check in for the next episode. And while you're at it, hit me up on YouTube. You know, subscribe like share i appreciate all of that until next time y'all king moves out